What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up for me. Let's get into it. All right. So I have to apologize from the beginning of the video because um, basically I'm not going to be able to do the original video that I wanted to do because um, there was some stuff that Tariq Nasheed posted on his Instagram. And when he posted it, I was like, oh, this is going to be a good video. And I couldn't do it at the moment. I was trying to take care of my wife's on the way home. I'm trying to take care of some business and uh, do that. And I said, oh, I'll just come back within the next hour or two. And then I'll cut the video. So I should have listened to my instinct and and stopped what I was doing and made the video when I saw the stuff was posted. Because everything that Tariq posted has been deleted now. Um, you know, so it, it was some really good information. He had posted a cease and desist letter uh, from uh, what's it, the uh, Joe Corzo. Well, either way, I'm about to I'm about to show I do have certain things that has been preserved from Twitter. So, uh, like I said, I, I had to go to Twitter because I was he had showed stuff on Twitter and on Instagram. And like I said, he actually posted the uh, his his documentary microphone check got removed from Amazon and he ended up finding out why. Cause he, you know, he contacted Amazon. He found out why the movie, now this is from two days ago. And he said, our documentary, uh, microphone, and cause this tweet's still up. Our documentary microphone check was the number one bestseller on Amazon for weeks. And they abruptly took it down. They have not given a legitimate reason why they did this but they can't hide the fact that this is censorship. This is further proof that there's an attempt to erase foundational black American hip hop founders. Amazon prime has produced their own hip hop doc, which I have seen that on prime. And I think fat Joe's in it, uh, their own hip hop doc, uh, rewriting history. And those films were overshadowed by ours. Could that be the reason why Amazon is censoring our film? Now, this is a screenshot from a a few days ago, where, as you can see, let me zoom in. His film microphone check was the number one. And and I did a video what about 10 days ago when I was talking about Tariq Nasheed doing his interview with uh, Vlad TV. I think they they did their first interview in 2017 and then they had a they had a falling out and. uh That video got a lot of, uh, I was surprised how the reaction, that video is the most commented video on my channel. It had a, I think it, uh, last I checked, had 117 comments on it. I got videos that's got 30, 40, 50,000 views and, you know, might have 15, 20 comments. There was so many people arguing about Tariq in that. I'd never seen this. So I was like, okay, but this is like I said, two days ago. And they took his, they took it down. Certain things start happening, right? Cause, and I have to, I had to go on the, uh, in the, uh, topics section on X to try to find certain things because they took his movie down a couple hours ago to posted the, uh, let me see. Cause I got to find this. Okay. Let me get, get out. Cause this is okay. This gentleman was he wrote to the movie theater that because you know, I'm kind of jumping ahead. Sorry. Um, let me actually find. OK, so this this tweet. Now, let me actually click on the tweet because it's been deleted. Like I said, this is um, Tariq after he found out that the uh, gentleman, Joe Conzo, who is a hip hop photographer for like 40 years, he's been publishing like Rolling Stone and all these different magazines and stuff. Um, and um, Joe Conzo. Now, what was it? This was like eight or nine months ago when Tariq Nasheed released the original trailer for Microphone Check. In that trailer, Tariq Nasheed used like a a photo or two that were, that was taken by Joe Conzo and Joe Conzo was saying, Hey, you used my legally copyrighted photos without my permission, all this, you know, and he was trying to stop Tariq's videos and, and his movie from coming out at that time. Tariq Nasheed took the trailer down because I think he was trying to strike Tariq's uh, YouTube channel. And matter of fact, he may have, 
um, Tariq had put the microphone, che- the original microphone check trade, because I saw both the, you know, um, I saw the re-edited trailer, which was still good. But the original microphone check trailer had apparently a photo or two that was done by Joe Conzo. And uh, Tariq took the video down or, or I know, like I said, that Joe Conzo, I think he had reached out to YouTube as well to try to file a copyright strike. Um, but Tariq took the, you know, the video was taken down. He re-uploaded a, a new cut of the trailer for Microphone Check that did not use any of Joe Conzo's photos. And that video is still up on Tariq's YouTube channel. Right. And that's been shared on Twitter. And obviously the movies was very successful when he launched it. Right. But Tariq is trying to get Microphone Check nominated for an Academy Award. He said this uh, uh, going back a couple months ago. Um, They had a limited release in theaters. And then it came out and then he found out that like to qualify for an Academy Award, it has to stay in theaters for at least seven days and uh, has to have, I think you have to play in so many theaters or whatever to qualify. But uh, so he went to Atlanta. He was in Atlanta. He was in New York um, and he's been doing press trying, you know, to uh, let everybody know, hey, we're putting microphone check back in the theaters. So this Friday, tomorrow, microphone check was supposed to to start playing in theaters again on uh, what was it in Atlanta, Chicago had Los Angeles. He had New York and I think somewhere down like in Dallas or Houston, he had it, you know, Baltimore area. He had it in like about 10, 10 cities. And those theaters had agreed to uh, play microphone check for the week so that he could get his qualification so that he could submit for the Academy Awards. But, People started talking about, hey, microphone check is not coming out on Friday again. And so this is Tariq 18 hours ago saying, hello, family. We found out the reason our film microphone check was taken down by Amazon is because of Joe Conzo. Also, Joe Conzo is trying to sabotage the New York film script. Well, like I said, I apologized at the beginning of the film because because. Tariq had posted the cease and desist letter that Joe Conzo and I guess his legal people or whatever submitted to. I think this was the the screenshot that Tariq shared on Instagram. Everything's been deleted. Uh, And the reason I keep saying that, matter of fact, like I said, Tariq deleted everything about Joe Conzo. And the reason I think he did that is because now that he had that paperwork, I think now, as you can see here, I just clicked on it. See, it's been deleted. I think Tariq and his lawyers, Tariq got good lawyers. Um, that that guy that uh, Tariq based the Bucci Bear con- uh, cartoon on, Tariq was suing him. Uh, what was it? Taharka Bay. He took that guy to Harker Bay to court and Taharka Bay lost his lawsuit. Uh, the Bucci Bear guy actually managed to win his lawsuit. There was a guy. This was going back like about nine, 10 years. There was a guy called keyboard musician or keyboard warrior, something like that. And he was making all these videos, quote unquote, exposing Tariq and Tariq, uh, you know, had his people on it. They found out who the guy was. And I think he was out of Florida and Tariq actually went to Florida and they went to court on this guy. And uh, Tariq, Tariq got that guy shut down. So it's like Tariq has money. I've seen some people saying, you know, I I've seen, Like uh, Tariq has done videos from his house and stuff like that. And I know he said Chris Brown lives in that neighborhood. I mean, he's living in a multi-million dollar house and he's got he showed, you know, he's got like a Rolls Royce Phantom. I mean, he ain't broke. He got millions of dollars. Right. So he got lawyers. Um, I wish again, I apologize for not. I should have stopped what I was doing and made the video immediately when he put the uh, cease and desist letter up because in that cease and desist letter, Joe Conzo at the bottom acknowledged that he wrote to Amazon 
And it had the uh, copyright notice that he had with Amazon. It had the number and everything where you could look it up. It was uh, it was very interesting. So I wish I had stopped what I was doing and and uh, cut the video then. But when I went back to, to make the video, he had already deleted everything. But like I said, the reason I believe Tariq has deleted everything is because his attorneys have told him, hey, we own this. Take all that stuff down. So that's that's why uh this like when i clicked on that link it was gone uh there there are people talking about it uh this is someone showing uh joe conzo's twitter i know joe conzo shut his instagram down if i'm not mistaken yeah this is this guy red joker he took a screenshot of uh joe conzo's instagram and you know he deleted all the posts and everything because he you know like i said once Tariq exposed him and say, hey, this guy's trying to get me shut down. Obviously, Tariq got a lot more followers than him. Because his Instagram, only, I mean, his Twitter only got like 1.3. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, 1, 1.3K followers, which I got more than that on X, which is kind of crazy. But, um, but yeah, I'm after Tariq posted everything and now he took it down. Uh, I, like I said, I should have just... Uh, um, stopped everything I was doing and just went ahead and cut the video then because that was I read the the letter that Tariq posted and it had a lot of information it, it you know like I said right when you get towards the bottom it was explaining the uh that he had successfully gotten microphone check removed from Amazon and it had the uh case number that he had dealt with Amazon on and everything and so he sent that letter to all these theaters and they've pulled microphone. Che so microphone check has been pulled from multiple theaters around the country because of the, the stuff that Joe Conzo Jr. has done. Uh, but like I said, Tariq's deleted everything. That tells me that he got his lawyers involved. And uh, I believe uh, it's going to cost him some money. But I believe Tariq is going to be triumphant in this. Now, apparently there are uh, two pitchers from that were taken by joe i have i still have not seen microphone check i was going to purchase it later this month but uh apparently there are two images that were taken by joe conzo that are in microphone check but they're apparently in the public domain or you know you know which means they are free to be used and uh as long as it's not for like a commercial use and you can um like in a documentary, which microphone check is, you can share an image uh, uh, for educational purposes. I, I I was listening. There was an attorney. It was there was a space earlier, and there was an attorney explaining that, uh, explaining why Tariq actually would have a solid case because yes, Joe Conzo might have taken the photo, but this is a hip hop documentary, and it's for educational purposes. So he could legally share the photo and discuss it from an educational, but like I said, I'm not an attorney. So if you are one, get in the comments and get in on that. But like I said, I apologize. I should have been on it. When I saw that cease and desist, I should have just hit the record button expeditiously, but I didn't do it. But uh, what do you guys think about this? Cause like I said, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to see Tariq, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, actually discuss more of this, but, uh, I just, uh, like I said, Tariq took everything down. There's a, uh, there's a space where they're discussing certain things and, and, uh, you know, he took every, he scrubbed any mention of Joe Conzo. He took it off his Twitter and he, like I said, he, he had shared the cease and desist on Instagram. And, uh, I wish I had, a. Uh, just did what I needed to do and, and recorded. But if you, if you actually saw it before Tariq deleted it, I would love to hear what your thoughts are on it and what the, you know, any kind of legal thing. Cause like I said, I think Tariq, Tariq's got really good attorneys. I think he will uh, get everything set up because uh, they obviously told him, Hey, take all that stuff down. We're, we're going to, uh, you know, hit Amazon. We'll hit the movie theaters up and we'll see. Can we uh, get everything set up for you? But uh, like I said, uh, give me a follow. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on X. I'm on threads. All at Akari Press. Type in AkariPress.com. It will take you to my comic book brand, Way of the Gun. I've got the link to that in my gum road in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.